Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Kahoot. Kahoot, if you haven't heard of it before, it's a fantastic site, a free site for you to use in your classroom that's going to help you out with some form formative assessment. So um, basically what this site is, and I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of uh, a heads up here first, um, every student in your class is going to need a device. So before you get started, um, just make sure that you have devices for all of your kids. Um, this works in a computer lab, it works on iPads, it works on any device. So any device that you have is going to be perfectly fine for this, but they do need a device. If you don't have enough devices, I have used this before. I've had, you know, 10 iPads um, that were available to me, and I've had kids buddy up and do this before. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, maybe even in a small group setting. If you only have four or five iPads, you know, take them in a small group. As you're working, even in like a guided reading group, um, it could work out where you could have, you know, four or five devices and, and do this as well. Um, the other thing is that you will need to be able to project this. OK, so let me show you a little bit about what this looks like. Um, this, like I said, the getkahoot.com, this is going to be just the site where if you have any questions, just go to this one, okay? And there is a nice little uh, tutorial down here just showing you what you're going to do. So very first thing you're going to do is you're going to create an account, and you're going to create question sets. But there are question sets out there that other teachers have used as well. So if you if you don't want to make your own, you can go off and explore and see what other teachers have made. Uh, the one thing I will warn you is that anybody, literally anybody, can put, even students, can put question sets up. So if they put a question set up, then you probably want to just preview the question sets beforehand just to make sure that it's exactly what you want. So you're going to make those question sets, and then the kids are going to go to uh, the website, and they're going to type in a code. There's a customized code that comes along with this, which I'll show you in a couple of seconds, and that's going to make sure that this is safe and secure, and only the kids in your class are going to be able to access the information that you're showing. So you're going to be showing, see the screen right here, so this is one of the questions that uh, a teacher has created. This question is going to go up on the screen. This is what the kids' devices are going to look like. There's four different choices, the uh, the red, the blue, the green, and the yellow. Um, your screen is going to show the question, a picture if you choose it, and then the four answers or the four uh, the four possible answers. They have to choose the select uh, the, the correct answer um, on their device, and, uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. So um, I'll show you all of this in just a couple of minutes. You can also share. So like I said, you can share your lessons. You can, uh, you can grab lessons from other people that have created them before, uh, and, uh, and you're all set. So let's go over to the teacher page. So this is the, this is the teacher website. It's called create.kahoot.it. Okay, so that's going to be the site that you're going to use, create.kahoot.it. This is the one where you're going to project this up on a screen, or um, if you have any sort of TV or whatever device you have to project the questions up, uh, you will need that. So you're going to go to create.kahoot.it. Okay, so you're going to get your free account. I'm just going to sign in here. And this is what your dashboard looks like. So you can see here, there's a bunch of different th categories up on the top here. There's my Kahoot. So these are the ones that you've created before. Public Kahoots. So there's a ton there uh, that people have created before. You can click on that. You can search the database of all of those, all of those um, frequently asked questions. And there's some support here as well. This is a fairly new site. So with that being said, um, it, there are some kinks once in a while. However, you know, most of the time I've, I, I haven't really had any huge issues. Um, the one thing up here, it says new Kahoot. That's where you're going to create the, uh, the new Kahoot uh, if you decide to just um, create it from scratch. I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to go over here and show you my Kahoots. I'm going to show you the ones that I've done before. So I'm just going to click on my Kahoots and we're going to do, let's do, uh, let's do uh, which contraction is correct. Okay. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to click in there. Basically, I have created all of these questions already, okay? So it says which uh, contraction is correct, and you're going to show the answers. I'm just going to show you. So it shows three different uh, three different versions there. Um, the kids would just need to select those. Let me go back a second. I think it's probably best if I show you how just to create a brand new one. So I'm going to go to back to uh, New Kahoot, and we're going to do either a quiz, a discussion, or a survey. So there are some different options here, but the quiz is definitely going to be the most popular. So I'm going to click on quiz. Um, we're going to name this quiz. So let's just say we can do uh, parts of speech. Okay. So I'm going to click on go. So this is fairly simple. So you're just going to up here in the top. This is the question. So I'm going to say uh, which word is a noun. Okay, so I'll just make it a nice simple one for us here. 
and then I'm going to go down here, and there's four different possibilities here. You could take those away, too. You don't need to have four answer choices. If you only want to have three or even two, you could do that as well. So you're going to type in the answers. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's go with uh, desk. Let's say flying. And let's go with fluffy. Okay. And then you do need to mark one as being the correct answer. So I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to show that is now being correct. You can do multiple correct answers, just so you're aware. Okay. And then down here on the bottom, it says save and continue. You can duplicate a question. You can add a new question. I'm just going to save and continue. So I'm just going to do the one question there. All right. After you're done with entering all of your questions in, this is the page that it's going to take you to. And notice here that it says uh, you can set it as what the language is, if you want it to be public or private. Um, I would set it to public. That way other teachers can use your uh, user quizzes as well. Your primary audience, you can say um, school. You can add a description if you want to, so it's searchable. You're going to choose the difficulty level. And then if you want to do the tags down at the bottom just to help you find it and help other people find it in the future, that'd be fine too. You don't need to do that stuff though. So I'm going to save and continue. Uh, if you want to, um, if you want to add a, a quiz cover to this just to make it a, you know, a little more uh, uh, fun looking, you can do that too, but you don't need to do that. All right, so we can click on done after we're finished with that. And now that that is all finished, uh, that's going to be showing up in my cahoots up here, but it's also going to be showing down here. It's going to be in the uh, play now. So if you just want to play it right away, if you enter those questions, you want to play it right away. Remember, this does need to be projected in some way for the kids to see. Okay, so I'm going to do play now. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn this volume down a little bit because usually it gets a little loud. Okay, so let's see here. So we're going to do, um, let's do, uh, we're going to do classic because I don't want to do the team mode. Um, that's actually pretty new. So if you want to take a look at that, you can do that. That's if you have one device per team instead. But if you have uh, one device per person, um, so if you have an entire class set, you can do the uh, player versus player. So we're going to do classic. All right. And now this is going to show me uh, a unique code. So let me show you what this looks like. So I have my, I have my iPad here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go over to the, uh, the device. And I already went to this website for kids, for kids. It's going to be the website that they go to is very, very simple. This is kahoot.it. Okay. So if you can see this here, it's kahoot.it. So notice that what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in the, uh, the game, the game pin. Uh, let's just move this over here to the side. I just want you to make sure that you can see this. So it's, uh, I'm going to enter that in there. Five, two, one, zero, seven, one. Okay. So once I do that, it looks like this. I'm going to do enter. And just as a side note, there is no app for this. You just go right to the website. So have the kids use Safari or, or you know, whatever else that works the best. Usually a Safari um, and they can uh, they can join the group or join the, uh, the game. All right. So it does ask for a nickname. So you have to decide if you want the kids to use their real names or if you want the kids to have just a fun name. If you're doing just a formative assessment, usually it's kind of nice just to have uh, them put in there, you know, just a fun name. That way they're they're not embarrassed either. They're practicing, they're getting experience with it. Um, however, up on the screen, it's going to show the top scores. Maybe you just want to have them enter their code names. So, all right, so I'm just going to put in my name and then I'll push OK Go. And notice that as soon as I do that, it does show up on here. Okay, it does show up on my screen. Once you know that you have everybody in the game, then you are going to be good to go so uh, from here I'm just gonna make this a little smaller perfect there's a start button over here are you ready all right I'm gonna continue showing you what this looks like over here so it's saying which word is a noun it gives you a couple of seconds and then from there it's gonna show me those possibilities of those uh, possible answers so desk flying fluffy all right so I'm gonna click on the the red uh, the red button here which is desk and now it shows up on the screen that um, I got it right Okay, so there was one person that got it right, and of course, I'm the only person playing right now. But you can have unlimited number of players in this, um, and uh, yeah, that's the way it works. So uh, pretty simple to use. Kahoot, I think, is a lot of fun. Uh, so just as a quick reminder, so it's create.kahoot is where you're going to start making your account and add all that information in. Um, create the questions um, or possibly use somebody else's. And then we have kahoot.it. Um, is the um, 
uh, Kuhut.it is where the students are going to go. Uh, and if you need a little bit more help, um, you're going to go to getkahoot.com. And you can Google those things as well, and you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Okay. Well, I hope you learned something, and uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to show you this quickly. So this is uh, this is my website. It's edtech101.org. So if you if you ever need some assistance, I'm going to throw this video up there as well. Um, I'll stick it on there. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me through this uh, through this website, and uh, we'll be good to go. Thanks so much for watching.